Hi, I am Matt from Designated and today I'm going to teach you how you can make these nice textiles in Android Studio with almost zero effort. If you want to learn more, make sure to check the description as there are some useful links about website development and app development in general. So, let's get started by creating a new Android Studio project with an empty activity and name it however you want. Click on finish and wait for the project to load and in the meanwhile we can go back to the material design page and head over to the implementation tab. Here click on the getting started guide and open it in a new tab. From here we need to copy this dependency and put it to our app. So open the Gradle scripts folder and click on the build Gradle and paste the dependency here. For me the latest version is 1.6.1 .1. and now click on the sync now button. After the project has synced open the layout file that you can find in the rest layout folder and here we will create nice text field. So in the material design page we can copy this code snippet and put it to our app. I will just change it to the linear layout and I will replace this default text view. I want my gravity to be centered and I will put some margin around my text view. maybe a little bit more like this. So this is the default material design text view and if you want to edit it a little bit we can do so easily by putting some icon in front of the text or for example we can also put an icon behind the text if you want to make some password field, password field for example you can also put the character counter, some helper text or error message. We are going to start with putting some, uh, some leading icon and then are, I'm going to show you how you can easily read value from this field. So let's put some icon here. And uh, the first thing we can do is just import some icon. Mm, let's just put something there. So I'm going to put this a person icon there. Click on the next, click on the finish, and we can also check in the implementation tab how it is done. So we need to put start icon drivable, and then name our icon. Now I have already implemented a nice icon here and if you want we can also style our text field by making it for example outlined and one more thing that you don't want to forget we need to open up our styles, uh, sorry, teams and make the parent of your team to inherit from material design. So like this. And now it should be working much better. Oh, sorry, it looks like I put the wrong team there. So just once more. We can put this one or just this one. And there is some error here that we need to take care of. I think I deleted one more character than I should. Yeah. So once more, and now 
you can see that the style of our text input has changed, but I want to keep it to the default one. We can also define it to be filled. Now if you want to get a value from this text uh, input, we need to specify uh, an ID for our text input and the text. So let's make it main input and in the code we can just easily read this value. Don't forget to import the class. And if you want to get value from this input, you just get it like get text. And you can also put it to string. Now, in this way, you will get the current value from the text input. And you can store it in some variable, example string wall equals main input that get text to a string. So thank you for watching, and I hope you liked the video. Thank you very much for watching, if you liked the video please consider subscribing and liking the video and make sure to follow the links in the description if you want to learn more about website development and app development in general. If you have any questions just leave a comment and I will try to answer them all. Thank you and bye.